Russia is planning to send another aid convoy to Ukraine as civilians there continue to face a humanitarian crisis. That's according to a statement by Russia's foreign minister. Well, RT's Roman Kosarev joins me now with more on this. Uh, Roman, good to see you there. Can you give us some details then of what Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, has had to say? Well, first of all, Russia will continue participating in all of the aid efforts for the southeast of Ukraine, along with the official government in Kiev, uh, the European Union, the Red Cross, the OSC, and uh, the rest of the parties involved. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sergei Lavrov said that uh, this second convoy, convoy of humanitarian aid uh, should be heading to Lugansk, or to the east of Ukraine, uh, very soon. The scenario should be somewhat similar to the previous time. However, the process should be streamlined and uh, should take much faster. The humanitarian situation in Ukraine is getting worse. Any slowdown of aid would violate international law. So we would like to agree on the conditions for sending a second convoy on the same route with Ukrainian authorities as soon as possible. We are convinced it must be done this week. Well, the first humanitarian convoy is already in Lugansk. The uh, uh, Russian trucks that delivered uh, uh, the humanitarian aid uh, are already back at their bases after spending uh, more than a week uh, in uh, waiting at the border and actually traveling. Sergei Lavrov said that the whole situation around this humanitarian convoy uh, was not healthy uh, at all and uh, the convoy was suspected of uh, something all the time. Meanwhile, uh, the international press, the uh, OSC, the Red Cross, all had access to this humanitarian uh, convoy and the process uh, should have been uh, streamlined uh, from the very beginning but uh, obviously uh, it uh, wasn't. Uh, now Lavrov also stressed, stressed that Russia continuously calls for a ceasefire and is ready to hold talks in regards to that in any given format. At the moment there are a couple of formats that are working that's uh, a Normandy format involves uh, Ukraine, Germany, France and Russia and there is a Geneva format as well which involves uh, Ukraine, uh, the European Union, the United States uh, and uh, Russia as well. Now, all of those formats are calling uh, for a ceasefire uh, as soon as uh, possible. Uh, also, uh, Sergei Lavrov mentioned that at the upcoming uh, meeting in Minsk between the Customs uh, Union, uh, the European Commission uh, and uh, Ukraine, uh, uh, bilateral meetings are scheduled and uh, perhaps the president of Russia and presidents of Ukraine could meet and talk. Roman, thank you very much. Roman Kosarev reporting.